We'll let a few people pop in. Hog legs probably just now shutting down. A few people popping in. Like I said, hog legs probably just now shutting down. So we'll get everybody in here in just a few minutes. Drifting on down the Ohio River. Let's get it. We're going to have a few guests pop in. They just got to the river and they're going to their spot and getting set up. So, yep, Chris from Hooks and Hammocks. So he'll be up in here hanging out with us this, after, this morning, this afternoon. Don't be rushing it. Don't be rushing it. This is my, my last day off work, my last vacation day. So definitely don't want to rush it. Lisa Elliott, good morning. Oh boy outdoors said good morning. Good luck. I'm at work, but I will be listening in. We appreciate you, Larry. Big shout out to Fracture Fix. He uh came over early and gave us a big boom. So shout out to him. Thank you, brother. Kevin Silent Fishing. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go. Let's go. Hot mess. What is up, Alicia? How is you? How are you doing this morning? How are you? How did you <laughs> do today, Mrs. How do? Wiley? How do, do, do? Would you catch a fish already? No. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. I was catching fish down there on that industry, but I made a move up here just to get away from it. I know well, it's loud. I've only had baits in the water for 10 minutes. So. Double hook angling, what's going on, buddy? I appreciate you guys popping in. I'm dragging baits and recording tracks just in case it works out. That way I've got the tracks recorded. I'm doing good, Alicia, Till uh, Till this day's over with, and I got to go back to work, then I'll be mad. <laughs> I got to go back tomorrow, too, buddy. But it's a three-day work week, and then we get the weekend, so not not awful. Not awful. I pulled up a little farther than what I wanted. I am start, started out 19 foot of water. Yeah. But that's all right. I'm making a long drift. Well, I'm in 17 feet right now, and it's starting to show the telltale signs of maybe a thermocline. What's your water temperature? Uh, 80.6. 80.6. Getting a bite back here on that rod, guys. Keep an eye on it. The old school pin rod. We start seeing a defined thermocline. We'll just stay above 17 feet. We're just that now starting to hit the channel. So. We got skipjack on that side of the boat, and we got the chicken over here. So we got skipjack over here, carp over here. You throw your net any? I, no, I just jumped in here and jumped in Hog Lake Stream. You know me, once the boat hits the water, I want to be catfishing, not bait fishing. Yep. But we've got skip back, carp, chicken, bluegill. Sometimes that extra. Sometimes that extra 30 minutes catching bait will be a big fish, though. If we come across some big schools of bait, we'll throw that net. I haven't seen any big schools, so. I've never launched at this ramp before. I normally launch way about three miles that way. But it's super, super shallow at that ramp, so. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to launch here. I know I won't have any problems getting the boat through that shallow stuff, but I can fish back towards that other, that other ramp. 
I've never been to where you're at. It's really pretty down here. Really pretty. We got a little bit of current. I got my my 36 boat on one and a half, and I'm still doing 0. 0.6. So we got a little bit of current out here today. Down on this end of the lake, the pleasure boaters aren't too bad either. They mostly stay up on the other end where all the deep water is. Well, I'm hoping all them pleasure boaters went back to work and we ain't got to worry about none of them today. Yep. That's a big reason why I took the day off also. Marullo, what's going on, buddy? Good morning, good morning, he says. Mr. Marillo. We don't get no bites. It's going to be tough not to run back down and fish that uh, uh, industry. And I, was ca I caught fish down there this morning already. Do what you got to do, mister. Scotty's in the house. What's going on, buddy? Bugman, what's going on, buggy? I need to see a rod fold over. Need to put some WD-40 on the chair. <laughs> Twenty point two foot. We're getting deeper. What's up, Dave? That's right, DHA. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Looks like Alicia got gifted some jigs. That's pretty awesome. I want to be gifted that 55 pounder right now. Now you're talking. <laughs> I'm not greedy. It could be 35. I'd be happy with anything 20 plus. If I'm being completely honest. We've already caught two of those this weekend, so. Speak for yourself. <laughs> what you say we suspend some chicken, y'all do? Yep, yep, yep. Always want to suspend some chicken. 75 sounds better. I like the way you talking. I like the way you talking. You know how fun it would be to uh, fight a 75 by yourself? Man, that would be crazy. What's that? Double hook angling said a 75 sounds better. Yeah. Out here in this current, could you imagine me trying to net a 75 by myself? Well, I know when I caught that 86 in no current, that was a chore. I would figure out a way to get it done. <laughs> yeah. 
I would definitely figure out a way to get it done. Bugman said, Chris, that's a nice looking lake. It's pretty down here. That's for sure. Let's do something a little different here. <laughs> Shut up, Uncle Lou. <laughs> Uncle Lou got his smart mouth going this morning. Of course. You know, he said current with a question mark. <laughs> Not all of us got that 13 mile an hour current Uncle Lou fights. <laughs> Same rod, getting another tappy tappy. Must be a little bit channel cat. Down there pecking on that chicken. We'll take him though. We'll definitely take him. <laughs> Lake Ohio River of Southern Indiana. <laughs> Mr. Stan, what is up, buddy? I did send a link to J-Dog if he wants to read the comments or maybe if he comes out fishing. We started out Friday. We'll end it on a Tuesday. We got this suspend chicken over there and bluegill over here. I like that suspended chicken. See how far from my wave points I am. Not too far. We'll get there in about an hour. If we had Uncle Lou's current, we'd have done been there. Jody needs to worry about keeping gas in her boat before she goes and buys a sling or cables. <laughs> What's up, Jimmy G? Appreciate you coming in, buddy. We caught a couple of fish on hog legs this morning. We was way down river, but the industry was loud. Wind was blowing in that corner down there, so I made a small little move. Hopefully, we get some bites down this way, too. But I caught two fish within a half an hour down there, so I don't know. We might end up back down there. Chris 
Great minds think alike, Bugman says. I might have to pay attention to the radar because we do. We are supposed to have some weather come in later on. Real. Need to tie up a few rigs, but trying to wait and see if we get somebody to come read the comments before I tie up some rigs. I got one pre tied rig left. Uncle Lou knows how to read. So does Buckman. Well, Uncle Lou needs to be busy making them planter boards. So everybody better hop on there and order you some. <laughs> so we can use them out here on the Lake Ohio. That's right. How do you not hook up? He's back. Let's see if he Let's see if we'll take it down again. He's a little fella. I don't know. I think he's little enough he might be on there. <laughs> you got the bait. He was holding on to it for a second. Bella Peckin, yes, he was. Waiting on a phone call, then I have to make a couple of others right at eight. Businessman. That's not the kind of fishy we want. But we'll take him, but I want one that just hammers it. What the blue cat's been doing here lately. Been a pretty aggressive bite, the ones that have hooked up. I put together a little TikTok video of... Uh, the 40 pounder we caught Friday. If anybody interested in seeing it, it's on my Facebook page, but it'll relocate you to TikTok. Tinkerbell, good morning, good morning. Oh. 
Now we're getting that, that nibble nibble on the Uncle Lou over here. Little pecky pecky, pecky pecky pecky. Y'all make sure to hit that thumbs up for me, guys, while you're in here. That's right. Well, it's going to be a hot one today. I can already feel it. Yeah, it was muggy when I left the house this morning. All that rain coming, the humidity is kind of high. Good morning, Pam. She says, watch them while I work. Awesome. Let's see if we can put Pam. Piggy in the boat. We catch a piggy, we're going to name it Pam. <laughs> and thank you for being a member to Pam and Uncle Lou. I appreciate you guys. You're getting a little more aggressive over there. Come on, take it down, take it down. I got just a little bit of a, a, a breeze that's making it pretty uh, pretty nice right now. I almost have a breeze. Yeah, almost. There get he is. A little, get a little hint of one every once in a while. Ah, fish on. Get him. Can you do solo? Yeah, I'm coming. Now, there ain't no way that was the same fish that's been just pecking, pecking, guys. That's crazy. I mean, it's not a monster, but. Definitely not a monster, but there's no way that was the guy that was just pecking, pecking. That's crazy. Y'all want to guess the weights on him? I'll get the weight. That's nice. We might as well. We might as well. I like it. Get them guesses going, guys. Another look at him. There's a pile of fish down there. Hoo wee, that scared me. I look over and I got a dead carp floating. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was that fish that just popped back up. I'm like, oh no, but no. 12.58. You guys were close. All y'all were close.
a sub mid Tennessee hog catcher. Steve Ransom, David Hughes. Stan said eight six. People like fish. We jumped up to thirty three. <laughs> Put another piece of chicken on there. Three fish already this morning, guys. One on this stream, but at least they are biting. Looks like we're going to get us a little bit of a treat here in a little bit, too. Looks like we got one of those uh, tour boats coming down the river at us. Oh, really? Yeah. He's just about, he's coming underneath the bridges now. About four miles away, so. That'd be pretty cool to see on the stream. Went down to 24 foot. I guess the bird dropped the rest of them. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that rod was just getting pecked on, getting pecked on. Then I looked over and he had it slammed down. Like I said, hi to you. Jimmy G saying hi to everybody. 30 people watching. Nice 12 pound fish we just caught. Hopefully, there's plenty more to come. I want one. Put your bait in front of him, he'll eat it. <laughs> Not I'm necessarily. Still I'm still waiting to see a fish on this. That's a pretty good little ledge here and a gradual drop. So. I want to see another one of them. So far, that's two on the chicken and one on the skipjack. Right on cue. Ready, Rod, over getting a bite. Skip, Jack. Two one seven. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Appreciate you stopping by.
Gradual drop. I drop it down to 26. When it hits 27, I'll readjust them. The spin drifting can be a lot of work, especially for me, because I like my baits being in that perfect strike zone. There's some people that can just drop their baits and just leave them wherever they're at. I, I can't do that. I got to adjust. I adjust every two feet, usually. That's what mine just went to 27.4 from 25.4, so I got to get up and adjust them. So the thing I always like to laugh about is everybody says they always want to go fishing with you. They always want to go fishing with you, but no, you really don't. Cause <laughs> <laughs> we don't do none of that anchor and sit down. We work for these fish. Dragon baits is about as relaxing as I get. Well, we will spot lock or anchor once in a while when the conditions are right. But yeah, there's conditions where you have to do it. But even then, 30 minutes on top of a, a hole, unless there's just some monsters that I marked in there, I might give them 35, 40, but 30 minutes, we're running up and gone. If I feel like I'm in a high travel route, I'll sit there longer. In my experience, if I mark those fish and they don't bite within the first 15 minutes, I mean, I, I'll come back to them later in the day, but right at that, that point in time, they probably don't want you. That's just me, though. That's just what I do. Well, I mean, how long can you lay on your couch smelling popcorn or a steak before you're like, you know what, I'm going to eat that even though I'm not hungry? I don't know if it's popcorn. I can go a pretty long time. I, I would just, I just pick two foods out. <laughs> Before I get up and throw it away. <laughs> ah, Stan. I drug I drug here yesterday and only caught those three. The current's picked up a little bit. What kind of boat? This is a uh, 1999 Tracker Targa. 18 foot. I like that suspend bite, Stan. I like it when they just hammer it down from the I suspend. I love that suspended bite. Plus, I always like, to, whenever I start up on something like this, I like to drift down. And if I'm going to pull back up, I'll just uh, drag it back up. Might See what way they want. I may have made a huge error. Don't know till you throw. That's what they say, right? I got a, uh, a waypoint down here that's got a tree. I wonder how long that waypoint's been there. <laughs> See if that tree's still there from last year. This stretch I'm dragging right now, I've only I've only ever drug it one time. Most of the fishing we do is another mile ahead of us. I got the old dragon rods set up back here. We get down to the end of this. 
I like it. I will throw the dragon rods out and drag back up. I'm finally starting to see some stuff on my graph that I could say those might be catfish. How many dragon do you have and how many suspended? I've got four dragging, two suspending. We keep getting shallower. We won't be suspended anymore. I'm already in 12 feet. Really? I really don't like suspending anything less than 20, but. I thought, you know what? Those rods are already out. I got plenty of bait. Let's drop them in there and just see what happens. All right. I don't know. In my, I, I wouldn't mind suspending in less than 20 as long as I'm not up here beating, banging. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we're doing it. We'll see what happens. I don't be, I don't believe in you have to be super quiet on the boat or nothing like that, but I worry the trolling motor just the trolling motor could screw. Maybe in a lake like you're fishing, maybe, but out here in this river, I don't think that noise bothers them a bit. And you may be one hundred percent correct. I don't know. I mean, look over it. We just caught a fish right next to a barge over there. The industry just started up. So that's they're used to that stuff. I'd say once, if I get close to eight feet, I'm probably going to bring those suspended rods up. This boat gets up here. I'll turn the camera around and let you guys see it. Try to see what the name of it is. I can't, I can't see it from, from where it's at now. I can't see the name of it. The old, where the old LST, I think you've fished that with me. An old oh, LST yeah. dock down here. I believe they, uh, believe they dock there and load and unload people. Go for the tours. Well, I know there's carpet here. One just jumped. Yeah, I just had a couple of them jump around me too. What lake is Chris fishing? Uh, lake in Kentucky. Who's asking? 217. Rebel Outdoors. I haven't told anybody. I'm in the lake in Kentucky. Mr. Lynn, what's going on, buddy? We appreciate you. He's a uh, Greenwell fishing family member also. We appreciate you, brother. Looks like it says the American Heritage. Little bitty I sign up there on the. Yeah, I bet they're going to go dock over there. They got workers walking around. Well, here's our first snag. Pop my planter board. I've been on one of those boats one time when I was in grade school. They took us on a field trip. Dr. Henderson a few days ago. Nice. Hi, Telly. Hi, baby. Look to the left, and you'll see the number one catfish on this stretch of the Ohio. Good morning, Mr. Fresno. Who's that, Kevin?
I like to see how they dock at uh, Henderson because they don't have a big dock like they do up here. Oh, come on. <laughs> you crazy, Kevin. You crazy. But thank you, though. <laughs> you crazy. It's crazy. A big old boat like that puts off less wake. Than some of these pleasure boats do when they're going out of the river. <laughs> yeah, he ain't stopping. He must be heading on down to Henderson stand. Eh, tour boat, cruise boat, I guess you can call it whatever whatever you want to call it. Air buggy man. They do I don't know if they do any week weekly trips, but uh he said Greenwell just wanted to hear that he knew <laughs> No, no I didn't, Fresno. No, I didn't. Steve, what's going on, buddy? Appreciate you coming in, fishing with Steve Mosley. If you're just coming in, we have put one fish on this stream. Certified fishing nut, what's going on, buddy? We appreciate you coming in. Stan said there were two of them at Henderson. Dang it. That must be their new docking place, then. Probably send one down river and one up river. We get down here to the end of this drift. I think I will try to drag this a little bit there. Stan, just for you, buddy. Just for you, Mr. Stan. I'm fishing a small retention pond. Steve Mosey going after that bait. I bet they are expensive, bug man. Stand on one of those boats for a whole week. I've caught one channel cat as well. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like that name. The Certified Fishing Nut. I haven't got the paperwork yet, but I'm I'm probably certified too. <laughs> was, that, was, that, was that you popping out and coming in? You broke out on me. Can you say it again? I said it went boop. Did you pop out and come in, or was that me? I don't see any guests. Maybe I maybe one of us popped out, popped back in. I don't know.
Probably, yeah, because you're frozen now, I believe, unless you're staring at me. I still what got staring at, fool. I still got full <laughs> signal, full 5G signal. All right, fishies, we need a takedown. Is it just me or is Chris lagging, guys? Let me know in chat. Or am I lagging? Thirty-four wonderful people hanging out. We appreciate you. And just like that, Chris, you got better. I have full five G signal. I don't know why it did that. Two one seven said everything looks good to him. So all right, maybe it was just me. Maybe Streamyard just had a hiccup. What's going on? Still in you? Still in your? Appreciate you coming in, buddy. <laughs> I agree, bug man. Agree. Dragging over this point. We're in five feet of water now. All right, certified. We appreciate you, buddy. What's up, Randall Rhino Outdoors? Frank Lampton, appreciate you guys popping in. Appreciate you guys popping in. Don't work too hard, buddy. Don't work too hard. We need one of their blue cat takedowns. They do have some pretty fresh skipjacks, so maybe we can catch one of those flatheads too. That'd be nice. What's up, Art? Art? Almost missed you. Almost missed you. Appreciate you coming in, buddy. Whoa. I'm fishing through you guys while it works. Take a pig. Thank you, Richard. We appreciate you, buddy. We appreciate you. We're going to try our best to stick a piggy piggy. Dropping back down now. Getting back into some deeper water. 
Yeah, I'm back to 11 feet. <laughs> and we got another snag. And it doesn't look like it's going to come out. Come on, baby. I don't know how that came out and my planter board stayed attached. That's amazing. Uh-oh, where'd he go? Another snag. Are you back? Super weird. 4G full bars. It switched to 5G, switched back to 4G, and kicked me out. <laughs> Another snag on the other side of the boat. Yeah, come out of there. You know you want to. Come on out of there. That's the way. I got you, buddy. I got you. Prayers to you guys, man. Prayers to you guys. You know, I'm always here if you need to talk. Mr. Duggar, what's up, buddy? We got one fish on this stream so far. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. If it would just stay 4G and not keep switching back and forth, it wouldn't be that bad. But it switches back and forth, and I guess it just loses all signal and goes all stupid. Some smart guy in an office thought it would be cool. <laughs> Still got 31 people hanging out. I appreciate you guys going through the troubles. I appreciate you guys still hanging out. Appreciate you. So back there, at 17 feet, looked like a, a thermocline. Up here, at 20 feet, I don't see it.
Can you hear me? No. You got real robotic y and break it up. I think you might be back now. I don't know. 5G full signal. The joy of live streaming. That boat did dock down there. He turned around and came back and docked there. Both sound good here. All righty. Thank you, Stan. On my end, he's froze up, so I don't know. It's very weird. Steve Johnson, good luck. Catch a pig. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to turn my camera off and mute because I need to warm this water up. All righty. <laughs> Good morning. Burping Jody. If you're just coming in, we've caught one, one fish on this stream, guys. Eddie Gross. Good morning. Appreciate you coming in. Suspend drifting four rides back here today. We get down to the end of this drift. We're going to drag back up river just to make Stan happy. We got you, buddy. <laughs> we got two rides with skipjack on it. We got two rides with chicken on it. Twenty six foot of water right now. Jody, are you fishing the uh, monster hunt Saturday or Sunday? You'll catch a few that way. I caught a few of them yesterday, but it wasn't on fire. Wake up, Jody. Ask you a question. <laughs> or do you get do you have a real in your hair, or are you busy getting that out? <laughs> Thank you, backwards. Let two lines out about 150 to 175. Sunday. Oh, I was hoping to beat you Saturday. Come on. Palmetto showed yesterday who's all in Saturday and Sunday, but I couldn't read it. Should be a good time anyway. You see, I was on Saturday and you went to Sunday, didn't you? That's yeah, I know, I know, I know you I know your 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 plan. I know what you did.
I know what you did. I'll go ahead and post the list. Saturday is stacked. Yes, it is. Yeah, unless we just get really lucky fishing the Ohio River, I know we don't have a chance of winning it. Not going against the Mississippi River and Tennessee River, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. They pull 80s out of the Tennessee River like it's freaking nothing anymore. Yep. But it'll be fun. If there's going to be a live stream for a personal best, that would be the one for it. Come on. Bring all the freshest skipjack I got, and I'm going to cut them about this big, and I'm going to put them Well, I sure would feel a lot better if I saw some fish on this graph. And he's back. And switch to 5G. Kick me out. Makes no sense. To switch back to 4G, back to 5G, back to 4G, back to 5G. It don't make no sense. Wish there, wish there was a way I could go in and just keep it on 4G. Got a 41, a couple 30s, a couple 20s, some good hits. Couldn't get one out of right order. <laughs> Better start working out. Mr. Matt, another... Member of the channel, we appreciate you, brother. Good morning to you. Good morning. Drop these baits down. There was a limb. <laughs> Be gone again? I ain't gonna deal with this all day. 
weird, isn't it? What's up, Rustic? Good morning, buddy. Appreciate the share, Rustic. I get a notification when you share it, but I don't see very many of those. <laughs> I don't think I've seen one of those share notifications for almost two years. You're right, Matt. It's they say it's gonna be so much better. But I don't know. I think the problem is here is it keeps trying to go back and forth, back and forth, and then it just completely knocks me out. What's up, hunting and stuff with J and J? Appreciate you coming in, buddy. I know I get more shares, but uh, sometimes Chris, I just I just don't see them. But whenever Rustic shares, then I get a notification. That's interesting. Because I know I've shared yours before, and it doesn't. You know what I mean? It, it, you don't get a notification on it. Matter of fact, I was just thinking the only time I've ever seen one of those was a long time ago when Palmetto shared us, and I got one. Well, I would switch up the baits, but I haven't seen, other than back there, I saw a few little marks that might have been little catfish. Other than that, I ain't seen nothing on this graph. Yeah, see, Rustic said he shares you out, too. Well, I appreciate it, Rustic. I just don't see notifications for it, I guess. <laughs> YouTube can be funny sometimes. Matt said it doesn't let him share at all. He has to copy the link and go into his community channel tab and paste it there like that. Who said that, Matt? Yep. Yeah, well, I think that's probably operator error there. Operator error. Well, this was potentially going to be our monster hunt location, but from what I'm seeing so far, nah. nope. <laughs> now, who knows? You know, at night it could be a total. It could be a whole different story. Definitely could be. But so far, we've drug everything from five feet to twenty-two feet, and it doesn't get that. It doesn't get much deeper than that out here. Not on this end of the lake. Matt said, wow, I might be <laughs> stupider, but I'm no dummy, Christopher. Well, we just cut diagonal through that channel again, start to shallow up. Richard, I've got the uh, the Gen 2 HDS Lawrence. Seven inch screen.
Shout out to Stan Brown. He hooked me up with the transducer. There's the guy I bought it from. Way to go, Stan. Oh, yeah, it's got everything it needs. Got everything it needs. Except the uh, structure scan transducer. <laughs> That's okay. We got it figured out. Won't be surprised if I drop out sitting here watching it go 4G, 5G, 4G, 5G, 4G, 5G. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, fishy, fishy. And there's got to be at least one catfish in this lake somewhere. Maybe they'll wake up here soon. Maybe they like to sleep in. I almost slept in this morning. <laughs> it sure would have been nice, but... Oh, there's some snag coming up. Snag means fish. I just went over some snag. There it is. Right there. Well, there's one. That's not the one I saw. Come on, baby. Not coming out. Know what that means? By the time I get all these reeled in, it'll be loose. We fish together all the time. Right now, right now we're teammates, so we can't be going against each other. We are the Blues Crew. We'll be taking on the Takedown Crew here soon. In about a month. Yeah, I want to be sure to be tuned in for that. That's going to be awesome. Not your words. Lance, what's going on, buddy? Something's been hitting that skipjack, Ed. There's little bitty nibbles out of it. I hear good things about Garmin, Richard. I really do.
Matt said turtles, Chris. Telly sent you turtles. Telly, what did you do that to me? Dr. Fools, he was solid. Yeah, definitely. No, we ain't fishing this spot. Saturday. My spot's been picked up for a long time. Catching that 40 Friday kind of made me start wondering if I need to go down there and fish that spot, but I don't know. Back to my original plan. One fifty, yeah, one fifty six. That's definitely, I believe, from what I hear, that's the better of the the transducers. I'm not a big uh, electronics guy. I mean, I used the the hook version of the Lawrence for a long time. I just good morning, Ashley. Appreciate you coming in. All right, Matt, we'll see you in a bit, buddy. What is that? What I got? I don't know what you mean there, bug man. Heading out to get some bait and then for some fishing. Well, good luck to you, 217. I'm watching Chris like a merry-go-round. <laughs> Good morning, fart sniffers. <laughs> What's up, B? <laughs> I 
I got you, bug man. I got you. Need to turn the mobile hotspot on so I can check the uh, radar, but I'm afraid it'll kick me out if I do. If I know when it's when it's when it's raining, when it's raining. <laughs> Thirty nine wonderful people hanging out. I appreciate you guys. Got about another 50 to 75 yards, and we're going to start dragging back up river. Fishing don't get no better. We'll go back down to that industry. Caught some fish here this morning, but I know it's loud being on a live stream. UC veteran. Good morning, buddy. Appreciate you stopping in. We need some luck. We need a fishy to bite. Of course, the wind's picked up. You good again, Chris? Yep, we're fishing again. Who's all in it, Brian? I know they said yesterday, but I couldn't read the screen. I know there's a some some heavy hitters. It's gonna be fun. pop up here and 
share a screen if you want to, Brian. That way you ain't got to type it all out. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to be some fish caught, that's for sure. No problem. I'm going to reel these up and get set up to start dragging these baits back up river. So you guys hang with me for just a second. Got no bait on. Another snap. Oh, it came out. Brian B. Brian B.
dragon chicken. I don't think I've ever drugged chicken before, so we're going to give it a shot. Come on. Chris getting frustrated today, isn't he? Here we go again. Here we go again. If you ain't snagging, you ain't dragging. Nice chunk on this one. All right, Stan Brown. You're still in here, buddy. That's for you. Some of that dolo motor work up there. We dragon. We dragon. Uncle Lou's playing the boards out there. What's up, Radical? Appreciate you coming in. Good morning to you.
Trying to catch up some fishies. See if we get that old barge by, guys. Got that barge going by over there. I like these dragon takedowns too, so hopefully we get a big slammer. Had one yesterday on that rod over there. It was awesome. House full of zoomies. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. We just got one dog now, and the zoomies are awesome with her. I miss her. Miss the days when we used to have a bunch of them. They would all go wild. Where are you all fishing at? Chris is in a undisclosed location on a, at a lake in Kentucky, and I am on the Ohio River in southern Indiana. Call it speedy dog time. <laughs> <laughs> the old cartoon. It must be going to rain. Boy, these flies are biting the crap out of my ankles.
dang old anchor ankle biters. Yes, for sure. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Burn, I'll be talking trash. No, they'll get the last laugh on you. They'll get the last laugh. I changed my course a little bit. I went down, hit my record button, turned around, I had a rod hung up. I thought, man, I just hit record now, I'm snag. But it came out. I guess that's payback from Matt. He said, Chris knows about ankle biting. <laughs> Shut up, Matt. All three of the fish I caught yesterday, dragon baits, was on the, the long lines. I want to see one of these uh, planter boards get smashed. I love it when those planter boards look like torpedoes or just barely under the water. Stupid <laughs> Definitely, Matt. Definitely. <laughs> After that last fish I caught yesterday, I was trying to catch one more on Palmetto's channel. So I threw the, the rod back out and I was letting the line out. I never clicked the bell, so it just pulled all the line out of it. They out there, Stan. They out there. I ain't got none of them fancy line counters, so I don't know how far back they are. About that far. Be fancy with them fancy line counting reels. Fancy like apple bees. Hello. Uh, Steve, I don't know if you've seen the one fish or not, buddy. 
We've got one fish so far on the stream. God, we've already been going for almost two hours. That's I crazy. Crazy. Got to see Dr. Gregory. I'll be all right, double hook. Appreciate you, buddy. I probably should have ran up here and fished this first. What's up, Big Rinse? What's up, Catfish Viking? Appreciate you guys coming in. Oh, my Lord, there's a fish on my screen. <laughs> I want a fish on your hook. A lot. I'll take that little small victory. There's a fish on the screen. Put a put a twelve ounce sinker on that OB and M rod. Drift one while we're dragging four. How about that? All right. Four dragon, two way out the back, two planter boards, and we got one suspended right here. <laughs> I know the feeling, buddy. I uh, I was throwing a cast net one day, and I knocked my glasses off into the river. You talk about a long ride back to the boat ramp, and then a long ride home. I couldn't see nothing. Listening while I headed to Walmart. Nubbies, good morning. Do you drag with uh, mono or braid? Mono. The only thing I got braid on is my skipjack rod and my bumping rod. That's why whenever I get hung up, I just break off. I don't do all that dancing. Well, I don't want to lose planer boards either. I don't want to go back and get a planer board. So Most of the time, though, though your, your leader will catch it. I'm not a fan of trying to break that mono. Man, that mono's tough. Yes, it is. Yeah, 
and send me that 60 pound prospect that orange stuff man you cannot break that stuff i just use a 30 main line and it's still hard to break thank you dan appreciate it buddy bob hello good morning to you Well, I would say we'd catch you a break time fish, but it's been slow this morning. Good morning, Kevin. Slow is a nice way to put it. I'm going to start getting Back rides are pulling through some stuff now. Hopefully, fish will see him and clamp onto that hook. Planter board over with chicken on it's been getting a bite, so he's probably done picked it clean. Come on. Little nibble, nibble. Little nibble, nibble. Can we catch chicken fish on a dragon rod? <laughs> Tell them to get the that they better get their priorities right. Can't be interrupting the Marillo while he's trying to watch fishing now. Morning, Scott. Got a little bit too close to the bank and pleasure planter board over there. She's a working. What's up, small water? I think pulling right up on that leg. Oh, yeah, Brian. I'll be there, brother. I'll be there. For sure.
like Jason Boards, Jason Boards. I use eight dot hooks, eight and tens from Freddy, eight dot uh, team catfish, and eight dot gamagatsu. What's up, Freddy? FOA Customs and Gear.
Size matters. What's going on, buddy? Did you do any good last night, Andrew? I put three in the boat this morning, one of them on this stream. I was fishing some industry. I moved away from that industry because it was loud. But.
Well, that ruined somebody's day right there. Big old log that? about that big, log about that big around sticking up out of the water like this. Oh yeah, pull it out of the water. Tell you what, I really like those those rig wrap sinker slide. Go ahead and set your rig up. And you can put it on after you're done. They're made by B and M now. Good to go. Uh oh. No way I'm making it through that without getting snagged. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it just keeps getting worse. It worked Friday. This one's for J Dog. There you go. We did this Friday. We did this Friday and it popped a, uh, a 40 pounder. So this is for J Dog. Kentucky Lake Fisherman, what's going on? <laughs> Justin Fishing Fetish, what's going on, buddy?
the weights of what, buddy? Your fish today. Uh, I think one was a 15, one was an 8, the other one 11, I think. Not 100% sure on that last one. The third one was a 12 pounder. As everybody in chat guessed what it was, and it was 12.5 or something like that. It took me a minute, but I remembered. <laughs> What's up, Larry? How you doing, buddy? Appreciate you coming in. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Drift this on down through here and I'm going to head back to the industry. Give it a shot before I put it on the trailer today. Hopefully this rain will miss us. I don't can't look at the radar now, so we'll see. Looks pretty blue skyed, so it was only like a thirty five percent chance. Freddy right over here getting a little nibble. Hello, Barkley. Been any skipjack running down that way? If so, I may get up early Saturday morning, drive down there and catch some so we can have some fresh for the monster hunt Saturday night. the trip then stay here and get some shad or something i can go up to our dam right now and catch a bunch of small ones Thank you. 
I don't remember what time we ended on Meadows yesterday, but when I got back to the ramp, I was about that close to being the perfect time getting back because right when I pulled up, there was about 16 pleasure boaters that were putting in. Man, if I was five minutes earlier, I'd have beat them. I'm by myself, so got to leave the boat down on the dock. They all start bitching at me. Don't get over it. None of them offered to help me, though. Friday, it was so busy down here at this ramp that I just left the boat spot locked out in the middle of the freaking river after I dropped myself off and just let it spot lock while I went and drifted or went and pulled the boat back. There was buddies down there and they didn't even offer to help me. I see how it is. I'm, a, I'm usually really good at it, but I don't want the boat sitting there beating on the side of the concrete down there. Right. Definitely. 16, two hours of wait time. <laughs> I never understand why they can't get their stuff ready up there, away from everybody. I mean, heck, I pull up at this boat ramp at 5.30 in the morning. I know there's nobody here, but I still park, get all my stuff ready, and then jump in to back it down. It's a habit I've gotten into. Got a sniffer. Just pecking, pecking on the Freddy Rye. Don't mess around and find that hook in a minute. <laughs> Definitely. I might give this another 50 yards or so, and I think we're going to head down to the industry. You don't say. Did you just get a gust of wind, Chris? Yes, I did. Can you hear it? 
Yeah, that was wild sounding. I'm going to put my fancy dancy wind muff up there for you. Yeah, as soon as I got going this direction, it starting to blow behind me now. You know, because uh, that's how it goes. If I was to turn the boat around, it did blow the other way. Sound like you ripped a good one. What's up, Kevin Walters? Appreciate you coming in, buddy. We're waiting on a big old takedown. I'm just now, I got one more little bend to make. This is the area we normally fish. Actually, pretty much starting right here. Never fails. You get into doing something, something gets hung up. But we got it. We're going to go ahead and make that move. It's all yours for a minute, Chris. Where are we going? I got to make a run. All right. Get my other phone out. I think I can see chat now. Can you guys hear me all right? Oh, 
Hi, baby. Guess where we're not coming for the monster hunt? <laughs> What's up, Terry? Size matters. Whatever, Andrew. What's up, Skip Jack Cindy? You know, the bad thing is this is this is where I came and did the one rod one hour challenge and completed the challenge. And we got six rods out today and we haven't got a bite. What's up, Dave? Randall. What's up, buddy? Everybody watch out, Matt's back. Gotta watch my speed, that wind's 
trying to push me. But it feels good. Tell you I'm recording the fourth track, but I've deleted the first three. <laughs> When it rains, it pours. Been outside with the water company. Water main busted. That's not good. Whatever, Matt. We hate turtles. You know that. You tell them, baby. What's up, Kelly? You guys don't have to fight over me. This sucks.
I mean, I'm, I'm back to not even seeing fish anymore. I'm not, when I say fish, I mean any fish. What's up, Dave Capperman? Mike, I don't know if you can hear me, but Dave says, Hey, Mike, weather finally decent to fish in Florida. It's not 115 degrees finally. Matt, I'm not on the Ohio. Toothy critter, toothy critter. We got there. Sauger. Sauger. How do they work for bait? They got to be a certain size and you got to catch them by rod and reel. So. Well, we're going to start zigzagging again. That scared the crap out of me. Fresh pieces of bait, that's good enough. <laughs> Time to go fishing. Well, I caught that sauger and then I caught a white bass and they get caught up in the net. They're they're a pain in the butt to get out. So Yeah. Caught a couple shad, so we're gonna go use them shad. I like white bass, Marillo. Telly and I use it when we get it. We used it a lot down there in Tennessee. Did really well with it.
Um, I don't know. I don't know what the law is for in Indiana for him. My guess is yes, but who knows? I need to change the bait out on this long line. I've been on there since we started. Did I hear you say my buddy Dave was in here? Um, what's his last name? Dave Kapperman? Yeah. Yep. What's up, big dog? I believe he's a he's a member of the channel also. What's going on, buddy? Yep, I'm changing this long line out.
You gone again? He's struggling. And he's back. Be back. Let's try it again. All righty. What's up, John boys? I just don't think it's going to happen for me here today, Mike. Yeah. Got to have faith, brother. One of them will hit in a minute. I have faith. I have Got faith that it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> You know, on the way down here, I got to thinking, you used to hear a lot about this lake. I ain't heard nothing about it for about a year and a half, year or so. This makes me wonder. Well, I think a lot of that's got to do with Steve. You know, he had that tournament there every year and he made it popular. Yeah. That hasn't went on in a couple of years, so. Get them all back in sight. What's he doing, huh? Doing that for him. Right over there getting a slam, then he just let go. Come on, man. Why you do that to me? That was the white bass, too. I bet he got it. The old white bass.
guess I better check it, huh? Man. Bullock experience said, Chris, you should do a uh, fish call. I've done it twice. It didn't work. NJ Maniac, what's up, buddy? What lake are you at, Chris? One in Kentucky, he says. <laughs> Who's asking? Size matters. Oh. Mr. Andrew. <laughs> Andrew was here last night. Was he really? Yeah. I thought I seen him say that. I'm betting he was on the other end of the lake, though. Good morning, Donald. What's up, Casters Fishing Wheels? Oh, yeah, he's on the other end of the lake. That's about uh, 12 miles by water, I believe, Andrew. That ain't happening. I'm on, I'm down Van Buren boat ramps right up in front of me. Well, it's about a mile in front of me, but I'm all the way on the end of the lake. Now, Chris, if we're going to talk to them Kentucky boys, you got to talk to them right. I'm over yonder. Over yonder? Van Buren's over yonder. We've had one on this stream 
casters, and I put three in the boat so far this morning. Caster says, hooks, buddy. What's up? How's it going? We're not doing so hot over here. <laughs> I know, Andrew. I'm just messing with you, brother. <laughs> so, Dolly and I discussed it last night, Mike, and if she would have went this morning, we were going to go where you said today. Oh, yeah? Yep. But I didn't want to go down there by myself first time. You know, not knowing what the ramp is and if there's a dock or not. Let's we'll save it for another time. We might go down there Friday and check it out. Uh, that's a two-day tournament, so you might not want to go this weekend. Were they? I thought they were launching out of Tanners. I have no idea, but I know it's going to be wild that whole area. Well, I've got to find a whole new place for the monster hunt then. <laughs> Aaron says uh, Lake Gaskin sounds good Chris Yeah No kidding What's up, Danny? Seen you in here, brother. Appreciate it. You know what tournament it is, so I can look it up? It's the Rising Sun. I thought that was... Oh, wait a minute. Didn't they just have that a while back? No, it's going to be this weekend. Pretty sure it's the ninth of the tenth. If they're going to do it there, if they're going to launch there, then I could launch at Tanner's and be all right. Of course, we ain't caught any big fish out of Tanner's lately, so. I don't know. Kelly and I are going to have to discuss it. Come down here. I'll share my big hole with you. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably just drive two hours farther and go to the Tennessee River. You can get to the Tennessee two hours farther from here? About five or six hours. I think it's what it takes us. Maybe it's six. I wanted to go down to Wheeler, but I just, I just can't make it happen. Uh, 
That was on purpose, Kelly. I wanted to make that not sound right, buddy. <laughs> Skipjack Cindy, what's going on? Had Lawson had a new ramp in Rising Sun? I haven't heard that. Kelly said, don't tempt me, Mike. <laughs> a couple other places I know we could go and maybe do some good, but I have no idea if there's signal there. I'm just getting in it just to have fun. If I catch a big fish, I do. If I don't, oh well. Well, that's how we, that's how Telly and I approach every tournament. We're just in there for fun. I mean, we try, but I mean, if it happens to happen. If it don't, it don't. It's it's going to be tough to compete with them other rivers. So we got one, Uncle Lou. We still got the one. I think you was in here for it. The 12 pounder on the Uncle Lou ride with the chicken. I moved back down towards the industry where I was fishing that on Hog Leg Stream this morning. So, hey, I just got, had a bite on chicken suspended. We got two in 30 minutes there. So, we shall see. Hopefully, we don't make these guys too mad at me. They'll get over it. I got two rods snagged. Oh, this is going to be fun. Two rods snagged. Had a bunch of guys I know that fish down on Wheeler. They always say, if you want to come up, if you come down this way, give me a holler. Well, I did, and everybody's busy. I asked, I gave him about two months advance, but everybody was busy. Imagine that.
It's just Chris on the boat over there today. We got 44 people hanging out. We ain't catching no fish. I love it. Thank you, guys. If it gets too loud, guys, let me know and I'll mute it till I get past it. I'll be burping, Mike, if you want me to. Yep, I got three in the boat this morning. <laughs> That's right, Danny. What's up, no BS catfishing? All we doing here is BSing because there ain't no catching going on. <laughs> We're getting into a prime spot now. We're going to hit one. I would like to fish this area Saturday, but this ramp is crazy till midnight. And they have a, a band down at a marina down here, so at midnight trying to leave would be crazy. Crazy. Just don't think I want to deal with all that. Danny cutting out. Back to work. Later, Danny. Appreciate you, buddy. This is going to be fun. Well, I got my own rig back.
find that same fish from Friday, maybe he'll bite again today. Jody, you running out of gas again? Goodness gracious. Oh yeah, Andrew's a beast when it comes to those thumbnails. All right, Uncle Lou, thank you for coming in, buddy. We appreciate it. See you later. Uncle Lou said, I'm out of here. This is boring. <laughs> Them boys can't fish for the lick. We can fish where the lick, we just can't get them to bite where the lick. That's right, OBS. Somebody's one of us is gonna catch a hog. We're gonna catch a hog. be a mini hog for all I care. I just want to put a fish in the boat. A little humpy hump right there. See if there's anything behind it. Anchored, or I'm actually suspend drifting, and he was, he is uh, dragon baits. Nope, just had a package show up. I've been waiting on, so can't get busy wrapping a rod now. Nice. Drifting on down the river. Y'all see that old boy over in that little? He's having way too much fun up there. Scooping that bar clean of all that rock.
getting every last pebble out of there. That's what I'm talking about, no BS. I said the monster flatty. Jody, I think a monster any day of the week. Any day of the week. Area. It's empty that barge. That old tug is coming over here to grab it. He's not beeping at me. Maybe, maybe he's gonna be nice about it. All monsters, all of the time. That's right, Cindy. You want to pop up and read the chat for us for a little bit? J Dog, can you send him the link for me? If you're out there. day and twice on stand day. We just hit our 30 foot of 34 foot of water. Is that our glorious hole? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that 35 foot range was paying off a couple weekends ago. I got some pleasure motors coming.
get unsnagged, and now homeboy wants to move. Back in business. After all that nonsense, I deserve about a 15 pound fish. <laughs> I won't argue with that.
Yeehaw, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Thanks, Alvin. <laughs> so he's going down there to put a, a fresh barge so they can scoop out the rocks so maybe he'll leave us alone for a while They pushed all the thunderstorms back to 2 o'clock. Now it's supposed to be 11 o'clock. Yeah, I sure didn't expect it to be this slow today. I know you didn't, Chris. I'm glad I drove two hours and 15 minutes for this.
one good thing, we ain't worried about no pleasure boaters today. Well, I found all the little ones. I see them on my graph, but I don't think any of them are big enough to eat the baits I got on. <laughs> Just readjusting so they didn't get hung up. Waiting on one of them that's in the screen there to bite the hooks forty one foot of water Come on, fish. It worked yesterday. All I want is one more before I got to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Gen 2 HDS. Seven inch screen. Low rants. Tom W, what's going on, buddy? Make that one more big one. I sure hope so, buddy. I sure hope so. At this point, though, I don't care. I'll just take one more. I take a one-pound channel cat right now. I know where we could go. We could meet up and fish both boats Saturday night, but I'm afraid that I've never tried to live stream there, so I don't know how the service is. Well, we'll talk about it later. Hummingbirds said, yeah, hum hummingbirds are pretty good units. I just, I started out with a Lowrance and just, I, I stayed with it. Of course, I'm not like somebody was asking me earlier, but I'm not a big electronics guy. I, I'm,
use what I got. So people will get out there and absolutely go nuts on those things. They got debt finders on their boat that cost more than my boat total. That's crazy. Of course, if I had money like that, maybe I'd do it too. But Fisherman said, "What's up?" We're trying to find a bike. Just trying to find a bike. Well, we found a bike, but let's see if we can find the hook. This ain't no fun anymore. Yeah. That's a nice one, David. That's a nice one. I was watching uh, the bass guys, the major league fishing, the uh, uh, their version of the monster hunt, you know. And that Randy Howe dude was standing on his depth finders on the front of his boat. I'm just like, wow, man, how can you stand on your freaking depth finder like that? That's just crazy to me. Water temperature is 83.8. It's weird. Your water is warmer than this. I'm in eight feet of water on a lake. Well, that's just the surface temperature. I know, but... I got the sun beating down on me. Oh, sun beat down on me too. I'm about to get all snagged up again, I believe. My brother David's out in the uh, YouTube world watching. Everybody say hi to my brother David. What's up, David? His surgery, you know, it got postponed last time, so he's going in Thursday for that, so.
gonna drift through this one spot over here. We're gonna put our new fresh baits on and give it our last go. Where the heck they come from? Some carp and some other bait have been on the on the surface, but no catfishes. They're around. Just gotta find them. Active fish are always somewhere.
<laughs> We're going to drip this 50 yards or so and probably call it a day. Trying to pull this back out. The wind's blowing us in. Some old rocks that are blowing. Drift over that. What's up, Becca? Yeah, I've seen it pop. Crazy service over here. Crazy. I did turn my mobile hotspot on for just a second. Try to mess with my brother. I have a problem in the stream. Nothing works right in this heat. No pros are sudden down. What's up, Curtis? How you doing, buddy? Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's for sure, Cindy. That's for sure.
<laughs> I'm about to just give it up, guys. It's it's bouncing back and forth between four and five G again. At least having that problem up there. Every time it starts bouncing back and forth, I drop out. Get one bite. I'm headed to the house. Looks like a fish on the Freddy ride. Well, we didn't call that one, did we? He was barely hooked. Oh, settle down. <laughs> Came out that easy. He was barely hooked. Number four of the day. Let's put on another piece of bait and see if we can get another one to bite. How about that? Pretty ride. Pretty hook. Go to FOA Customs. Use code BUMP10 for 10% off. We got some fish. He done moving yet? Going to get that hog now. I hope so. I don't know how we didn't lose that fish. He was barely hooked. Y'all see me just pop it right out of there.
fuel motor got turned off. That's why I got all wonky. drift down just a little bit longer and I'm gonna get on out of here. This heat's getting me frustrated. Need something in my belly. That big fish is gonna hit. He needs to be hitting right now. Catch a noontime monster.
All right, buddy. We appreciate you hanging out with us. Two on this stream. Five total. Four total. Four or five. One of those two. It's been a slow day. Uh, 12 pounds, Miss Becca. 12 pounds. We caught a 15 on Hog Lake stream this morning. And I think a 15 and a 10 on his stream before we started this one. Yeah, so we put four fish in the boat. Two on this stream and two on his. Definitely still looking for that big bite. Coming to the area where that 40 we caught Friday, looking for him again. Or his brother. We don't care. Maybe even his sister. I really do appreciate everybody hanging out with this slow, slow bite we've been having today, but I'm going to shut this thing down, and I think I'm going to head to the house and maybe have some lunch with the wife and hang out and get ready to go back to work tomorrow. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We'll definitely see you on the next one.